Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick crash course guide on how to set up your e-commerce store. Before we get into the tutorial, I just want to let you guys know that now through the end of the year, I am offering free email consultations. So whether you need help with design or getting something set up, be sure to head to your Wixfix.com help and then just follow the page instructions on how to get that set up. All you really have to do is add me as a site contributor and then fill out this form. That way I can give you a deep analysis of your website, recommend some changes to make you look more professional or help you set up whatever you're trying to set up. Now that my ad read is done for the day, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a site. If you're interested in the next video, I may design an e-commerce store so it doesn't look like millions of others. But for time's sake today, I'm just gonna choose a template. So we're gonna do an online store, choose a template. And we're just going to choose one of the first ones we see. So sure, we'll choose this one. Now, if you didn't choose a e-commerce store template, or if you want to add a Wix store after the fact, just go to add apps and then do Wix store. And then you choose add and then it'll let you open it. But as of right now, this template already has it in there, so we don't need to add it. So if you are new to Wix, I'm going to give you a kind of basic guide on the editor. If you're not new to Wix, I have some time codes in the description for you to skip ahead. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Right up here in the top left, if you click this drop down, you can choose your pages really quickly. Right next to that is a desktop and mobile view. So if we switch to mobile, you can see what the mobile is going to look like. Now about half of your users are going to be on mobile. So it is very important that you check the mobile before you publish the site. Now, obviously this one doesn't look all that bad because this template already had mobile optimized, but if you make a lot of changes or if you're building from scratch, it's not going to look near this good. So just keep that in mind in the future. So if we go back to desktop, last thing on this top bar I want to cover, is right here, there's undo and redo. So if you make a mistake, you can undo it. If you decide you like it again, you can redo it. Um, if you make a change that you really like, then you can press save. If you want to preview uh, what the user will actually see on your website, then you can press preview. And then you press back to editor to go back to editing, I guess. <laughs> and then whenever you are satisfied with all your changes and you checked mobile and everything and looks good, then you can press publish to make all your changes public to the world. The last thing I really want to teach you about Wix is th these things right here on the left. Obviously pages, here you can create pages and everything like that. You can change where they are. And then if you click a menu icon and do manage menu, here is where you can show pages. You can make some a sub page uh, so that it kind of, um, you can move it to a sub page so that it becomes a drop down if we preview it. So you can see here, where, where did I put it? Okay, for home. So about is now under for home when you hover over it. So that's basically how you change your menus. Um, if you go to add, here is where you can add text. You can add images, buttons, basically anything that you would need on your website is going to be here. If it's not there, then it's probably going to be in the Wix app marketplace. So if you don't find something you're looking for an ad, just check the app marketplace. Um, so let's go ahead and just add a text element real quick, because I just want to show you how it works. Um, so here we just drag, it's drag and drop and edit basically. So if we do edit text, you can change it to whatever you want. If we select all here, we can change the font to whatever we want. Uh, we can change the sizing, we can make it bold, we can change the alignment, uh, we can link it, we can change the color. Can add effects and stuff like that so that's basically how text work um, let's do an image real quick so you can upload your own images so I do my image uploads and then you do upload media just to upload any images that you want or if you don't have images you can come over to media from Wix or unsplash these are both really high quality and free stock images for you to use for your site I personally love using Unsplash. That's what I recommend using. And then basically everything else in here is pretty self-explanatory. Like I said before, it's just drag and drop and basically press this design button to edit the design. You can do change text on the button to be whatever you want, like start now, whatever you want. So the next thing we're gonna do is press save. Then it's gonna ask you to rename your site. 
So I'm just gonna call it my store. And then we're gonna press done. Now obviously, uh, if we press if we press publish, because no one's gonna see this site, and we press view site, and we look at the URL, this is not a very good URL for a professional business. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is upgrade real quick. So if we come back to the editor and press upgrade, and then we do get yearly plan, here you can kind of choose what you're gonna need. Obviously this is the basic website, but we're building an e-commerce site, so we need to switch over to the business and e-commerce plans. Kind of just look through all the options and choose whichever one is best fit for your business. After you pay for it, then you'll get the option of connecting your domain from your current hosting site, or if you don't have one already, Wix will allow you to create one. And I believe you get it free hosting through Wix for the first year with any of these premium plans. So after your site is premium, then when you press publish, then you can just go to that domain that you have set up and this is what you're gonna see. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over to our shop page. Now your shop page may look a little different than mine depending on the template you chose or if you just added it to your current site or whatever you... So we're gonna start by selecting the shop element, then we're gonna do settings. Here, we're gonna go to design and we can change the design, uh, we can change the fonts and everything to be on brand with the rest of your site. You can change the colors and everything like that. Also, you can change the design layout by going here and you can choose which layout you wanna go with. I think I'm just gonna go with the original one. And then over here you can also change like how many columns are on the page. So it's pretty customizable, but I would just play around to make it perfect for your website. And then lastly, you want to do that same thing for the product page. So you want to make sure that the fonts on this page are exactly what you have on the rest of your site. And then there's a cart page as well. Do the same exact thing, just press or click it then do settings and then change the design again. And then lastly, do the same thing for the thank you page. Just change all the text and fonts and uh, colors to be whatever you need it to be. Okay, now let's go back to the shop page. If we click it, we can do manage products. Here is where you'll actually make the product. So if you wanna add your own products, do new product. You can do digital file or physical. This site is mostly physical stuff. Here is where you, up here is where you put the name of it. You add images of it. So let's just add like a backpack, I guess. I don't know. Choose the first one. Cool. Okay. And then we can, right here, we can do like new arrival. And then we'll do like, let's say like $59.99. If you wanted to make it an on sale price for, um, 10% or you can choose a dollar amount of like six dollars I don't know that will make the sale price 53 here's where you add the description so the a little bit about the product the dimensions here you can add like the return policy and care instructions um, here you can add product image or uh, here you can add product options so you can do size weight you can do color choices and stuff like that you can have Wix track your inventory. So let's say you, you buy a certain amount of this product. Um, it, will, it will tell Wix to stop selling the product or say out of stock when it runs out, when you sell out of it. And then if you have a subscription based product, then you can also set up subscriptions as well. And then up here on the right side, you can choose a collection, which this is basically a category. So if you make a bunch of shirts, you can put shirts. If you have like a, an apparel store and you have shirts, pants, boots, like whatever, you can create different categories for it. Right here, you can create a coupon for it. So if you have like a, if someone's gonna be promoting you and they use a special discount code, you can create a discount code. You can create promotional videos, send email campaigns, you can share the product to everyone in your, on your like social media. So this right here is actually probably the most important out of this is edit the SEO settings. This actually is gonna show you what it looks like on Google. 
So right here, you can change it to like my store because that's what I said my site was called. Then you add the description of your backpack right here. And this is basically what's gonna look like on Google. If you do social share, this is what it's gonna look like on Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, and then advanced, you really don't need to worry about that. So then we press save. And now if we come back to our products page, your backpack's gonna be right here. It's gonna show the sale price and everything like that. So the last thing that we really need to do is go to the dashboard, go to settings. Let's go to accept payments. And obviously I didn't pay for the premium plan, but here is where you basically set up your PayPal um, and all of these different things to accept payment. You can also go down here to store shipping and choose international or domestic. So yeah, basically just go through your your dashboard options and make sure all the all the information is correct. And after you do everything like that, make sure it looks good on mobile. And then you are ready to publish. So that's basically how you set up an e-commerce website within Wix. If you are interested, be sure to subscribe because my next video is going to be showing you how to design an e-commerce website and I'll teach you how to make it your own and not make it seem so templatey. And whenever you do build out your site, be sure to go to yourwixfix.com help and go through the process so I can give you an analysis and give you tips and tricks on how to improve your website and make it seem more professional. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you learned something, be sure to press that subscribe button because uh, I got more tutorials coming real soon. Thank you guys again and I'll see you on the next one.